incorrect use of a pipe wrench. Drilling operations potentially expose workers to hazards that can cause significant injuries and even fatalities, especially if the workers are not competent. The equipment being used is not fit for purpose and, or they're inadequate, or no safe systems of work in place for the workers to follow. One significant hazard is the incorrect use of hand tools on rotating components of a drill rig. Recently, there have been multiple serious incidents involving the incorrect use of pipe wrenches during drilling operations. In some cases, workers have been seriously injured while attempting to break apart cross-threaded drill rods using pipe wrenches in conjunction with hydraulic rotation power available from the drill rig. Pipe wrenches are not designed to be used under mechanical or hydraulic force. They are hand tools, and when used incorrectly on powered equipment, they pose a severe risk of dislodging, whipping, or striking nearby personnel. Workers should avoid placing themselves in the line of fire of any tool or equipment that cannot remain stationary, as unexpected movement or malfunction could result in serious injury or harm. These types of incidents often occur due to several contributing factors. The absence of safe work procedures or risk assessments for the task. Workers placing wrenches on rod pipes while the drill rig remains energised. Inadequate supervision or training on correct tool use and safe isolation procedures. To prevent further incidents, mine operators, supervisors and workers must take the following actions. Never use pipe wrenches on energised or rotating equipment. They are hand tools only. Lock out, tag out and confirm no residual energy remains. Use Safe Work Procedures, SWPs, and Job Hazard Analyses, JHAs, for any rod breakout or maintenance tasks. Train and supervise workers in tool selection, isolation procedures, and hazard awareness. Keep manual tools and powered systems separate. Use hydraulic breakout tools when required, not pipe wrenches. Regularly inspect and enforce safety procedures and isolation protocols. These steps are critical. One mistake can lead to serious injury or death. Safety is everyone's responsibility.